Hey guys, so I just want to clarify um, a little issue we've been having. Uh, it's not a big deal, but just that now we're getting more estimates and more jobs put on the board. I just want to explain uh, how exactly you should be using House Call Pro. So it's really important to know that there are two different ways we input the work orders in. Um, one is as a job. So I'm going to use this one as a reference. So you'll see at the top, it says job uh, number 4678. That means at the end of that job, you're supposed to collect the $850 or whatever is in there, okay? And then if there's more work that needs to be done or sent out, um, which this is a level two, so there probably is, uh, what you then have to do is close this out, collect payment, and then click the name and create new estimate, okay? And then you create a whole new estimate from there. That's how you do it when you have um, a job on your schedule. Okay. Now, when you have estimates on your schedule, you'll notice this one here says estimate. Um, so if it's just an estimate, that means that you're going there and you don't have to create a new estimate. You just have to go in to the line items and then edit, um, the services. We just put estimate for relining in there as a placeholder. Okay. So if it's an estimate, you can just build it out here. If it's a job, um, you have to close out the job, collect payment, and then create a new estimate based on what you found um, and make sure that that gets sent out. I uh, hope that helps. Um, and don't forget also, when you are done your jobs and estimates, to close out the estimate as well. So... For instance, if we're going to this estimate here, Christine Smith, you'll fill it out, okay? And then you will uh, send the estimate here and uh, also click finish. So uh, you can click finish, then click send, or click send, then click finish. But the when the estimate gets grayed out, that means that we know that you went and it's a little easier on the office side. Hope that helps.